Hello, Sioux Empire baseball fans, and welcome back to the SEBA Insider for the 2011 baseball season. I'm joining the Avera Sports Institute with head coach of Lincoln High School, Alex Summers. Alex, uh, you're back coaching your alma mater. Talk a little bit about the process of, of acquiring this job, what your thoughts were going into the job, and, and any other things you want to talk to us about. Um, well, last year I was uh, the assistant coach over at O'Gorman, and uh, um, as some may know, that we, uh, we had quite the successful season. Uh, we ended up winning the state uh, high school championship and I was an assistant coach. Um, you know, Lincoln was a team that struggled last year and I always looked at Lincoln as, um, you know, we played them in a scrimmage game last year and they actually beat us uh, in that scrimmage game. Um, but noticed out there that they had a lot of talent and uh, when the Lincoln job opened up and it being my alma mater, as you say, you know, I looked at it as a very exciting opportunity, uh, you know, because everyone, you know, they talk about Lincoln, but it's like usually a lot of negative thoughts. So I think it's a quality club. I think they, last year I thought they had a lot of talent. They have a lot of returning starters and a lot of sophomores last year that got playing time, now juniors, you know. Uh, you know, just a good quality uh, group of kids, and I think they're a very talented bunch. So. Let's talk about, you know, your feelings going into this job. You know, obviously when, when you played for Lincoln, you guys had a very successful team, and and I know as, as coach as a, at O'Gorman, you, you, it kind of ate at you a little bit to not see Lincoln on the map as far as wins and losses. Mm -hmm. Talk about, you know, your feelings so far of, you know, putting on, putting the, the red and white back on and, and uh, how it's been going so far with the indoor practices. Um, uh, practice has been going great. Uh, as you know, uh, we start in February with the uh, pitchers and catchers. Um, we got a lot of guys stepping us for, uh, up for us. Uh, Dan DeSanto, he's going to be getting a lot of innings. Uh, Logan Landon, he'll be getting some innings, a lot of it. Uh, you know, Alex Schultz, uh, you know, a list of guys, you know, any one of them can throw, you know, from, you know, Bork, uh, you know, Leon Rasmussen, uh, Van Wick, Winter, Heinzen, I mean, everybody. We have 15 guys we're, we're going to carry on our varsity roster, and, you know, all of them can pitch, so that's going to be a big benefit for us. Let's talk a little bit about your, you know, the first thing a coach does, a head coach does when they get the job is they put together a coaching staff, and you've got a great coaching staff. Talk a little bit about your assistants, that they certainly need to be mentioned, and, and how what yep. they bring to the table as, as far as yep. coaching and philosophy. Um, well, my assistant coach for the varsity, is uh, his name is Matt Myers. Uh, he's actually, this will be his first year as well. Uh, he came from the Chicago area. Okay. And so he had been coaching out there for a while, and, uh, you know, he, he came, up, came here, and he's actually uh, quite impressed, you know, with the way these kids can throw and uh, how much actually progressive it is actually here than in Chicago, which I thought was a, kind of a surprise, but... Uh, you know, he's pretty impressed. And then we got uh, Pat Booman. He'll be doing our freshman sophomore team. Um, I believe this will be his second year in the SEBA program, uh, first year as a high school coach. Um, you know, and he, he's doing the 13 West. You know, he's a knowledgeable guy, played some le Legion ball um, back in the day. And so I think it'll be a great squad and, you know, great coaching staff. So. Talk a little bit about the, the 2011 baseball schedule. I know you're very aggressive when you do your scheduling and, you know, a lot of people want to come to Sioux Falls. They want to come to the new Harmony Complex and the new grandstand we've installed. Talk about your philosophy, you know, in, in scheduling and, and how the schedule is shaping up for the 2011 season. Well, our uh, our first game actually uh, of the year will be against one of our uh, regional uh, opponents, uh, Brandon Valley. So we're going to open up with a doubleheader against them, and then the day after that we'll be playing a Roosevelt squad that I believe this year has a lot of seniors. Uh, they had a lot of juniors last year that got playing time, so they're another team in Sioux Falls to look out for. Um, so that, you know, we're going to have two good uh, opening games. Uh, then we got, you know, Washington, another regional opponent, uh, well coached, a uh, lot of talent on that squad. I mean, there's a lot of talent really uh, in the state of South Dakota for baseball. Um, but, you know, for me personally, the one I'm really looking forward to is that O'Gorman game, obviously. You know, with that being the team I coached last year and everything, uh, you know, that'll be a good team to measure up again. You know, we'll have a doubleheader against them mid-April, and I think it'll be a uh, be a good challenge for our kids to see exactly where we're at. So you know, most of the teams you mentioned have been region opponents. So I think you're aware of how tough your region is with the Washington Warriors, the Brandon Valley Lynx, and the Yankton Bucks. Yep. Um, you know, we'll talk a little bit about the the rest of the state, but talk about your region. It is going to be yep. that tough just to get out of the region and yep. advance to the state tournament. Yep. You know, uh, this being my first year, I'm not exactly sure. Uh, you know, much with the, uh, what Yankton has, and quite honestly, what Brandon Valley has, but. You know, just from playing those teams back in the past, uh, even back when I played, uh, you know, they're always tough opponents. You know, with any regional games, you know, you play each other, you, those games everyone gets a little more hyped up for. 
Uh, so everybody brings their A game in regional games. So, you know, regardless of uh, what kind of season anybody's having, um, you know, every game's going to be a battle, like you said. So, I mean, we just got to go out there, play, or play the best baseball, you know, pitching and defense, you know, wins championships. So hopefully we can do that to uh, the best of our ability. Let's talk a little bit about the rest of the state. I know people are, are saying up north Watertown's got a good team, and, and people are obviously excited about Brookings with having a lot of young, talented players. Yeah. And, you know, Rapid City Central made the state tournament last yeah. year and, and made the championship game. So talk a little bit about, you know, obviously you probably don't know a lot, but, you know, from your coaching, you know, last yeah. year with O'Gorman, you can kind of have yeah. a hand in what teams around the state are going to be competitive as well. Yeah, yeah with Watertown actually being, uh, you know, being in our region uh, last year as an O'Gorman coach, uh, you know, I, I know they have a lot of talent actually up in o uh, up in Watertown, excuse me. Um, they're, they're a senior dominant team, you know, they good quality pitching, you know, they're very strong up the middle, got a good catcher, um, you know, uh, Rapid City Central played them in the state tournament last year, I mean, another good squad, you know, everybody's pretty young, everybody's bringing back a lot of talent, so uh, we'll be going out to Rapid, we'll have a good test out there uh, at uh, mid-May, and so that'll be, a, should be a good trip, and we'll get to see how, uh, how we're doing against the Rapid City team, so. You mentioned some of your players, I know most of the state you know, doesn't know, but the cupboard certainly isn't bare with Lincoln, and yep. the juniors and senior class that you have over at Lincoln uh -huh. is, is pretty good, and yep. uh, talk a little bit about your seniors, talk about your juniors, it's a very yep. good class, I, I know the numbers aren't huge at Lincoln, but the ones you do have are quality players. Yep, uh, we don't have the total numbers, uh, we're only going to be carrying a varsity team and a freshman sophomore team, uh, we got 26 guys, but like I said earlier, uh, 15 guys of them, uh, 15 of them are uh, on the varsity roster. 13 of those are juniors and seniors, okay. and a lot of those guys, like I said earlier, they were on the varsity team last year, they had varsity experience, so this being their second year, you know, playing time and just being out on the field, uh, you know, that's the best way to learn the game. Uh, so, you know, with guys like Bork, DeSanto, Grady, Heinzen, Huguenin, Koonsman, the Landon brothers, uh, Leon, Rasmussen, Saar, Schultz, Stroud, Van Wick, Winter, you know, those 15, I think it should be a good, good bunch, so. Let's talk about your, your goals for the season. Um, you know, how do you approach the season? A lot of people talk about winning the region. A lot of people talk about making the state tournament. You know, every coach has a different philosophy. What's your philosophy going into the season? Uh, well, you know, Lincoln was 3-17 and 17 last year. Uh, so I really feel like if we can go, you know, above 500 with a lot of with the talent we have, and if we're playing our best ball towards the end of May, and, you know, because you come to that regional tournament, it's just winning two games. Mm -hmm. So if you can put your best ball together towards the end of the season, you can win two games there, and then it's, you know you just got to prepare as best you can for the state tournament, win two games there. So you know, my goal is to really just be playing the best baseball. Everybody get better. You know, everyone have a good solid year, um, and you know, it, it, the team's gonna win it. You know, as I, you know, you can name off one individual, two individuals, but really we're gonna need all 15 guys. You know, it's a long season. Um, you know, but as long as we're playing real good ball in our regional tournament, state tournament rolls around, you know, anything can happen. So hopefully you can make the state tournament, but I think, you know, everyone's everyone's goal in every year should be to win the regional tournament. So, Coach, any final thoughts you want to tell to the uh, Sioux Empire baseball fans out there, uh, Lincoln alumni and Lincoln parents, uh, yeah. anything you want to say? Hey, come out to the games. It's going to be an exciting, fun year for, you know, the Lincoln, uh, the Lincoln alums and all the parents and all the fans. So. I think it's a fun bunch. You know, I've been coaching them, see a lot of talent, so, you know, I'm very, very excited. Uh, I just can't wait till we uh, get outside and get the games going. So. Well, thanks for joining us. Once again, that's Alex Summers, head coach of Lincoln High School. We will be back with the second installment of the SEBA Insider. We'll be joined by Washington head coach Brandon Hunt. With that, I'm Chris Janish here at the Avera Sports Institute saying so long, everybody.